Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today I'm going to walk through how to mount a network drive on an oscilloscope. The first thing you have to do is make sure the oscilloscope is connected to your computer via Ethernet. I'm using an MDO 4000 series oscilloscope and its Ethernet port is on the back near the bottom. The location of your computer's Ethernet port will vary depending on your computer. To begin, press the menu button in the save recall section on the bottom of the scope. Select the File Utilities button, which will pop up an entire new window with a new menu on the right side of the screen. On this new menu, select the More button, and then select the Mount button. This will bring up another new window. Here, you will enter the information about your computer and the drive you want to mount. This part will be easy with a keyboard, but it may be a little inconvenient without one. You can hook up any old USB keyboard to your scope, and I'm going to do that now using one of the USB ports on the front of the scope. Then you need to enter your computer's IP address. This part may require some knowledge of TCP IP and some setup on your computer. When you've gotten the IP address set up, you can use either the keyboard arrows or the up-down buttons on the menu to select the next field. In the server name or IP address field, enter your computer's IP address. In the path field, enter the path of the drive or folder you want to mount. You may be used to typing C colon forward slash at the beginning of a path, but in this case you have to type C dollar sign forward slash. The dollar sign signifies that it is a shared drive. Then you may have to enter the username and password you use to access your computer. Then press OK Accept, and it should bring you back to the File Utilities menu and show the driver folder you mounted. You can navigate either with the keyboard or with the multipurpose knob A on the front of the scope. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.